making his way to the ring and fighting out of the red corner, it's AJ Jones. AJ Jones is 5'10". He's fighting out of an independent gym in Florida here. He's making his MMA debut. And like again, once again, we talk, talk about independent, independent here. Now this is over 200, he's 210 somewhere around in there as the referees check him out. But this is, this is gonna be an interesting fight right off the bat here at Cagezilla 55. Uh, Kevin, it's a catch weight bout, but 218, uh, well, it's 214 here for AJ Jones. This is gonna be his MMA debut. Interesting note, he's actually roommates with CJ Goon, who oh. we saw fight in that first fight and take the victory. They train together. See what AJ Jones here has to offer in his MMA debut. He's from Maryland, Baltimore City. Lives in Florida. Another one that escaped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I said uh, he said he feels he has real good takedown defense. He's been training uh, BJJ, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, for one year, but he wrestled in high school. He's only 22, but he's more of a boxer. He is facing a three-inch height disadvantage. Yeah, so. and, and this is going to be something that you, this is where you want to get somebody on the ground. When anything over 200, 218, 220. We get a lot of guys that just lay on each other, and that's exhausting. A lot of people don't realize just having somebody lay on you for three minutes, exhausting. Anyone that's ever wrestled, anyone that's ever done any jujitsu, they know how difficult it is to have somebody pressuring you on top of you, bearing, making and you bear opponent, their weight. Making his way to the cage and fighting out of the blue corner, it's Carlin Desir. Desir, 6'2", 210, out of UFC gym here in North Miami, Florida. He's making his MMA debut. Born and raised here in Miami. And this is, like you said, his MMA debut. He's actually gonna be moving to England in the next couple weeks to join his wife in Manchester. He's been training for about three and a half years. His strengths really feels that, you know, his Brazilian jiu-jitsu game is on point. He has an 80 inch reach though. So he's definitely gonna have that reach advantage and the height advantage as well against 6'2 versus AJ Jones is 5'10. As his teammates, as you see him getting all the Vaseline on there to make sure, you know, some of this, these striking blows and making sure the blood and all the issues that go on with this MMA uh, event. If you're sitting at home watching at GoSports.com here live from Revolution Live here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the first time we've made it down here. The backstory behind all of this is, is that these two guys coming out here fighting for their first time out of Miami and out of Baltimore via Florida, it's impressive that you just step into this thing. It's impressive. Like if you say, you know what, I'm gonna go out here and put it on the line right now. The amount of mental fortitude, gumption, it, that it takes to get out here and get inside the cage, it, it's just insane. And I always have to just tip my hat and give all the credit to these guys starting their careers. This is their first fight. Right. So nerve-wracking, get that huge adrenaline dump. Now this might be the first time I've seen this, and I don't want to throw this Ladies off, but what, what, this we're wearing shin guards. First MMA bout of the evening. That's new for me. <laughs> well, we're in Florida. The rules are a little different down here. Be a oh, okay. Of 218 pounds. Starting out, fighting out of the red corner, standing five foot ten and weighing in at 218 pounds, fighting out of Independence MMA. It's AJ Jones. AJ Jones fighting out of the red corner. Fighting out of the blue corner, standing six foot two and weighing at 218 pounds, fighting out of UFC gym of Northern Miami, it's Colin Desir! Desir got a huge crowd here tonight. He's 6'2", fighting out of UFC gym in North Miami. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout will be in the Cagezilla catchweight division. It will be three three-minute rounds, and your referee is Chris McNochie. Chris Mignocci, he'll be the referee this evening for our first MMA event. It's scheduled for three three-minute rounds, and when you get this weight, you know this is a marathon we talked about, Matt. Absolutely. You know, the, the more the guys go up in weight, the, the tougher it is to keep that cardio going, just so much more mass that you're pushing around that cage. And as we are kicking things off, looks like Desir is going to be the first to go, but see, or A.J. Jones, A.J. Jones is just starting to get some head movement going on, dropping his hands, and Whoa. he's just asking 
Man. Desir to start launching some shots hey. at his face. This hey. is a very brave move here. You know what this is? This is straight Baltimore. This is <laughs> oh, oh, he got caught showboating. Oh. Stop showboating and Desir fight. takes his back, and he's landing those shots on his jaw around the AJ side here. Up. AJ, AJ Jones up. is just a, a few seconds away from this getting stopped. He's going to control this a little bit now. Yeah, the referee was just waiting to jump in there yeah, and stop that one. I don't know if he could get in there. Kev here has his back and hasn't flattened out now. And, and Kevin, I was talking to uh, Chris McNulty, the, uh, the referee, right before the bout started. You notice something different down here in Florida. Amateur MMA, they have to wear shin guards. Well, we were just talking about that before you made it in here. I was confused about what was going on. Well, you also know, notice he's throwing those knees to the body. You cannot knee to oh, the head. Oh, he rolled over to help him. He's in the full what, mount right now. Why would you do that, Jones? It is not looking good for AJ, AJ Jones. AJ Jones just rolled over. He and is that done. is going to do it. Those two huge blows by Desir. I knocked the mouth guard out. Dr. Ling is going to have to make his way into the cage. But wow. I mean, he rolled over and just said, here you go. Knock me out. Well, he also did that in the <laughs> in the beginning when he was just walking around with his hands down, showboating. And that's how he wound up in that position. Well, he did catch Desir the first time he did it. Maybe that was a little too much self-confidence, though. He kept going with that strategy. He got caught. He got dropped. Desir made the most of it, jumped on top of him, and just swarming him with big rights around landing on that jaw while he was down. And A.J. Jones paid the price a little bit here, Kevin, for yeah. dropping those hands. Yeah, maybe maybe just a little more concentrating on the fighting than the showboating. You can see here on the replay, just catches him with a real stiff jab, but yeah. it looked like A.J. Jones was leaning his body weight into that jab yeah. when Desir caught him, and then this is the end. You can see the mouthpiece go flying. The referee jumps in there to call yeah, it. There's two right hands right there. Just, I mean, then the blood coming from, from A.J. Jones' mouth. Let's throw it up to Chris here. Oh, I thought Chris was ready. We don't really usually need a card when we get a stoppage. Chris yeah. is getting, <laughs> yes, this is Chris it. getting a card here. All right, now we're ready. Let's throw it up to Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chris Mignocci has called a stop to the action. Just one minute and 14 seconds into the very first round. For your winner, by TKO, out of the blue corner, Carlin Desir! Well, there you have it, our first MMA bout of Cagezilla 55. Desir comes away, or Desir comes away with a huge win. And he's got probably the biggest crowd besides Camacho in the building tonight. Yeah, lots of fans here in the crowd for Desir. And tell you what, what a beautiful first performance. For Carlin Desir in his MMA debut, riding out of the UFC it, it, gym. You know what's funny is I think Jones would have been okay. I think Jones keeps his hands up and concentrates on fighting and quit watching McGregor on television and get in there and actually fight. I think he was a tough kid. I just, I, 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 you know, he had a couple of big blows there at the beginning, but then he got caught showboating. I think this is silly right here. And he walks he right walked in into it to that stiff yeah. jab. And then he just takes two huge right hands right here before Chris can jump in. A.J. Jones really got softened up, though, because as soon as he got dropped with that jab, leaning into it, and Desir took his back, Desir landed what looked like, to me, a dozen blows to the jaw that flattened A.J. Jones out. He made him bear his weight, and then A.J. Jones just flipped over.